So the idea of a flat earth is not a new concept, but it is one that has been widely regarded as false for much longer than people believe. In ancient times, as with everything, different cultures had different legends to explain the natural world around them. And some, and for some, this included that the earth was a flat land with the sun and the moon traveling above it cyclically. It doesn't make sense to me. But this idea was widely regarded as false for longer back than some might realize. People have heard legends of history, such as Columbus sailing his legendary voyages to prove the Earth's shape, which is untrue as people had widely believed the spherical model to be accepted in common knowledge since as early as the 35th century. 35th century? Man, we do some quick adjustment. <laughs> Damn. Since as, early, future. <laughs> since as early as the 3rd century Wait, What BC. century are we in right now? 45th? <laughs> Uh, 48th. 48th. All right. Very go, close. Go, go, go. About 7,000 years off. <laughs> 30. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why that got you that. Well, when I typed this section of my notes, it was 4.30 in the morning. Exactly. <laughs> That's when Brocky Brock woke you up, you up. Yeah, he did all of that. <laughs> he, he jumped on me and said, up, you up. <laughs> he said, Brock, no. Oh, my balls. Uh, okay, uppy, I'm up. <laughs> <laughs> I got a poopy. I got a stinky one on deck. <laughs> All right, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well make use of this time. The the main hub of a scientific breakthrough. <laughs> Are we doing a song and dance? <laughs> I just wanted a drink, not a dance song and dance. <laughs> All right. What is the main hub of a scientific breakthrough? Well, it would help if I spoke that sentence clearly and properly. Okay, try the, it. The main hub of scientific breakthroughs Boom, and got it. mathematical discoveries in the ancient world, Roman Greece, were the leaders in the Earth's spherical discovery. But early leaders in the fields of research had varying opinions. Homer believed... Simpson? Yep. Homer believed, as many did, that the, the Earth had a hole. Was flat and it had a hole in it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not and the moon was the timbit. Oh, oh, no. I can't do Homer either. <laughs> um, nope. but the what? I tell you about this. Uh, Homer believed as many did that the earth was flat. The commonplace idea was that the earth was a flat land that floated in a vast ocean with a domed sky above. Like last week with exorcism, every time you hear flat today, take a drink. Yeah, yeah. Hey, by the way, side tangent again. Tied it up. Um, many episodes ago. Yeah. It, no more than five or six. Maybe I quit. Quit. Uh, I did. I did some editing in the bloopers that uh-huh. made it sound like you lived in Target. <laughs> did, did, <laughs> do you yeah. remember that? Not really. <laughs> I can't remember what it was from. It was like because you and I had our conversation about where you were moving to. Oh, <laughs> okay. I remember that. And uh, I edited it to say like to, to make it sound like you were saying. Do you know where Target is? And I said, yeah. And you're like, okay, then you know where I live. And it's like, and, I do. And then you're like, okay, all right. you're like, it just it has everything I need. I'm really excited. <laughs> I worked for like a half hour on that. I, I didn't catch that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> don't be, don't be. I uh, just got. I mean, it about makes it. sense now that you say it. <laughs> you know, kind of like when I joked that you're getting pegged. Oh fucker! <laughs> that was. I don't remember when that was. I don't that was within the last ten. Yeah. These kind of blend together. (laughs) All 75 of them. But, many mathematician, but mathematician (laughs) Pythagoras, however, Mm. posited that the sphere model seemed to be the perfect mathematical answer to the problem of our land's design. It's perfect. It's beautiful. (laughs) And thought about Pythagoras theorem. Yeah. Um, Hey. Hey. I was watching a comedian. I don't remember the fuck his name is. He's a newer one that I haven't seen before. Okay. He does Trump. Shane Gillis. Yeah. I love Shane oh Gillis. Oh, my God. I've never seen him before until this week, and he does a... Dude, he's amazing. When they killed uh, Baghdadi or whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he died like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> and he just kept torturing him. Or uh, torturing him. Sorry. Uh, teasing him. <laughs> really just sticking the knife in. Have you seen his special on Netflix? I haven't. Okay, that I will watch. From I his definitely special. want to, though. Dude, his special is so fucking funny. We should put it on a grandma's lady because it's so good. Maybe, maybe. Remember, it's football day, so I'll probably be on my computer watching Red Zone because I'm the only family member that likes football. Mm. Yeah. I mean, there's a better chance soccer will be on than football. Well, it's a big game today. 
<laughs> big, big, big game. game. Big game. Big things. Big Could plays. be a bigger game. <laughs> Dog. It's a beautiful game. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful game. And they're going to they're gonna lose like dogs. I, I can't, I can't I'm speak nervous like them. about it. I can't either. So Ryan and I, my brother and I have tried doing impressions. We, we know about Ryan. That's okay. He's, he's been on the podcast. He Not only has he been on the podcast, we've talked about him joining the podcast for yeah, yeah. But new I almost said years. We yeah, haven't been doing it that long. <laughs> new listeners might not know him by name. Oh. Um. So my brother and I, we we worked together and we talk, We uh, have tried to do Trump impressions. Yeah, and f- we've come to a realization that uh, it for uh, him specifically, it's difficult to do a Trump impression without it just being JFK. Oh. and then if you kind of like <laughs> slow down JFK's mental capabilities, <laughs> you got <laughs> you got a little bit of Trump action there. But so every false, time, you're wrong. Can't when you see him later, have him do a Trump impression for you, and it literally comes out as pure JFK. <laughs> <Is it? laughs> he We're going to go to the moon this goes, day. Or that? He died like a dog. <laughs> like, that's what Orion does. Puts into a Jersey accent, too. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, but another cool thing about Pythagoras. Uh, hold I on. Just, All right, we're back on the road? We're back on the road. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I just read a thing that actually the Pythagorean theorem, Mm -hmm. obviously it wasn't called that because it was before him, but they discovered that... (laughs) I'm going to make this theorem and it's going to be called Pythagoras. uh, Yeah. Uh, They actually discovered, um, I think it was the Sumerians or the Mesopotamians, they they were actually They also died like dogs. (laughs) They probably did. I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) They were a beautiful culture. (laughs) But faulty. They died like dogs. (laughs) It's the... The episode's going to be the worst Trump impressions ever heard. <laughs> That's exactly what But it it's not going to discourage us from trying. <laughs> we're going to keep doing it until we get one that's good. Yeah. Anyway, they uh, they discovered that they were actually using the... They came up with the theorem before then, and they were using it themselves. So that's kind of cool. Cool yes. stuff. Cool stuff all around. False. Oh, hey, False. No, that's probably even worse. I'm just going to shut up. It's all good. So Pythagoras, however, posited that the sphere model would be the perfect mathematical answer to the problem of our land's design. Then there were the weirdos, ones such as Anaximenes. 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 Steve from accounting again. Yep. That guy made his appearance. He sure did. Hold on. I want to take a second away from the church. Let's talk about the flat earth. Actually, We don't have this in the budget. This guy's weird. He believed... That the Earth was a rectangle. Okay, it's uh, not just flat, uh, but it's got six flat sides. Six, huh? Yep. Well, he's an idiot. <laughs> slight, <laughs> slight. Although maybe he just thought it was a flat rectangle, like a map. I think he was just looking at a map and he got confused. <laughs> it could be. Could you know be. how these things start though? One person says just they believe it's idiot. true. And then it goes on to multiple different sources that they believe it's true. And then someone who knows nothing about anything goes on and sees it. Well, it's on multiple sources. This must mean there's some credibility to it. Mm. Then it just right. expands. And now we got a crap. <clears throat> now we got a weird theory that, yeah, you know, the earth is triangular. Wait, that's not this episode. Uh, that's just the mice in the attic. It's a big mouse. <laughs> a, I think his name is Brock. Big, big mouse. <laughs> Anyways. During. Yes. You okay? By the 5th century, it became common knowledge that this wasn't the case, and we were actually standing on a ball such as the one that passes overhead every night. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> it's, it's, during the could fifth, it be? <laughs> during the 5th century, yes. Empedocles and Anax. Anaxagoras mm-hmm. made an observation in favor of the sphere theory during a lunar eclipse. It looks round. They watched the shadow of the Earth pass over the moon and saw the curved edges of the shadow, proving to them that the Earth must indeed be round just like the moon. Yeah. Sure did. A few centuries later, in 240 BCE, mm-hmm. Eratosthenes. Sorry. <laughs> Eratosthenes <laughs> sought out to calculate the circumference of the Earth and measure its size. The circumference calculation is done on a spherical object, just to drive the point home to the listeners. <laughs> he measured the shadows cast from Alexandria and Syene ah. to calculate their angle relative to the sun. God, you're so good. I, I would never have gotten that word. First right. try. First, First try. try. I'm just the best. <laughs> Until you listen to bloopers later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, 
Shadows cast from Alexander and Syene to calculate their angle relative to the sun. At Syene, at mm-hmm. midday, on the summer solstice, when yeah. the sun was directly above, there would be no shadow cast on a sundial. Zero shadow. Exactly. But just north in not Alexandria. Getting any better. Huh? This is not getting any better. It may. But Maybe. Ju- I don't let it was, discourage you. I thought someone was coming in the door there. It's probably my rockhead dog running in <laughs> the door. <laughs> huh? The old bulldozer. That's what um, I. That's what I. My nickname is what I tried to say. <laughs> the old bulldozer. Just, just didn't come out. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! We're all the way across the room. Sorry, I was excited. <laughs> Woo! Choo, choo, choo. That's a train, you dumb fuck. All right, just go before I make it more of an ass of myself. <laughs> Great. So it's Sienna. 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 I already forgot it. Sienna. <laughs> Forgot what? Sain. When the sun was directly above in Sain, there would be no shadow cast on the sundial. But just north in Alexandria, at the same time on the same day, a shadow would be cast. Yeah. This was confirmation to him that the earth was indeed round, and he would measure it. I'm going to measure some shit. Hold on, is what I wrote. <laughs> oh, I like it. Something. Beat me up, Scotty. <laughs> something that by this point in time had already been common knowledge to astronomers. But the more proof, the better, I always say. Variables... That he could not know or observe at the time led to his calculations being slightly off. Uh, but, he, right. but he was in the ballpark. He I mean, wasn't think flat. about it. We're, he's doing this measurement and this experiment off of two sticks in the ground and measuring their shadows and the distance between them. It's pretty fascinating. He did it with two sticks in 240 BC. <laughs> just saying. Saying, what are you trying to say? I'm just what, saying. What are you trying to say? Did it with two sticks and basic now or hey, basic listen, math. Listen. If the Earth was round and we put a fucking stick down there and put a light at the tip of the stick oh, yeah, we'll and look through this later. hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Um, the Earth, but like I said, he was in the ballpark. Yes. The Earth is not, <laughs> the earth is not a perfect circle, code. nor was Alexandria true north of Syene. Nor was Syene perfectly at the equator, but all of this stuff was close enough to be close to accurate. His final number was that the circumference of the Earth was roughly 252 stades or stades. I've never known when I've learned that in history how to pronounce it because I've always read it. S-T-A-D-E-S. It's an ancient form of measurement. STDs. It was very common back then. Yeah. Or between roughly in today's um, measurements Measurements. just because of the differences in in Mm -hmm. history. Um, That number was roughly between 24,630. 63 miles to 27,967 miles. So basically, a little off. 24 and a half thousand miles to 27,000 and a half miles. It's actually, 6,000. No, but I, I'm just kidding. Oh, I don't really gotcha. know. Gotcha. But that's what, this, that's what his number translates to from gotcha. stadies to miles. Our number today that we have is 24,902. He was right on the fucking money. Really? Yeah. He was within, he was within a thousand miles, basically. Depending, but he could have been accurate depending on what that measurement was back then. He did it with two sticks. Yeah, but my point is he was right on the fucking money. Yes, sir. This calculation and test applied science and math to prove a theory, something tangible and able to be proved rather than a visual observation such as the Earth's shadow during a lunar eclipse or the sailor's constant observation of a ship, distant ship dropping below the horizon and not actually sinking. But the main takeaway is that back, way back in the ancient times, before space travel, before flight, before all of the technology and science we have today, before all of this with just shadows, eyes, and sticks, people could see and prove the Earth is a round celestial body just like the sun and moon that they can see above. I won't even go into the discovery of orbits and heliocentric star maps. That's for another time in another episode because that's wild too. <laughs> Because that's the whole debate of heliocentric versus geocentric. You know what I mean? It's all false. The Earth is flat. We're the only thing out there. You're wrong. It just goes and goes and goes. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but let's talk about yes. the basis of the theory in modern times here. Okay. Or slightly modern times. All right. We'll get. 